Hi everyone, so welcome to today's episode of Alex Draws. Today, we're going to be drawing uh, the cast of Ruby. And uh, you may or may not know the show. It's actually a show by Rooster Teeth. It's an animated series. And uh, it's a 3D animated series. It's really cool. If you guys haven't checked it out, I recommend you check it out. So, I'm starting already with the initial sketch of what the characters are going to be like on the screen and uh, basically the general gist of what the image is gonna look like I do this every time just to make sure I, I know how I want everything to be before I actually get into doing the photo so we're gonna have Ruby, Yang, Weiss, and Blake all here and uh, Hopefully the image turns out pretty good. I think this is going to be Yang. Ruby's going to be over here at the scythe. Blake is going to be holding on to the tail of a Nevermore. Uh, and they're going to, Ruby and Weiss are going to be fighting Ursas. So those are the ones that look like bears. They have that mask like that. Mouth open and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do a uh, another sketch to basically ground out how I'm going to be doing the image. I'm going to do that right now. So now we go from this to this. This uh, once again is more rough and uh, sketch like and then here is more. Uh, you get more shapes and everything. Um, basically get black and do like the bow that like draw the shape of her just like this it's rough and have like this going across like that I'm gonna get her skin color I'm gonna basically uh, put it over in certain spots just so it looks like she's there but she's not actually there and obviously it wouldn't be all this tangle that mess I'm actually gonna be drawing this right now so there you go we have uh we have Blake, I don't know, I think I said the wrong name like three times. But uh, we have Blake here now, and uh, like I said, I just did black, and then I went in, I did peach, and I just filled in the little areas, and I got that shape down. This, I'm going to draw by just basically doing kind of the same kind of tactic. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. So now we have the Nevermore and Blake, and Blake's holding on to it with uh, her weapon which uh, has a lot of different uses. So now that's there, and when you zoom out, it looks like, hey, uh, something's going on back there. there. There don't need, there doesn't need to be too many details because it's so far back that you're not really going to be paying attention to it too much. But you're going to know. Actually, I'm going to actually have an effect here where Ruby's scythe is kind of like, uh, has the trail behind it, like she just swung it. So it's probably going to be like that anyway, so you're probably hardly going to see that at all. But uh, the next thing I'm going to do is going to be the Ursas because they're actually fairly simple to do. They're just giant dark creatures with little helmets on. So I'm going to do that right now. To draw the Ursas, um, I basically, not going to lie, I did like a black blob like that. I just did that around the edges pretty much. Uh, especially on the small one. Um, then I filled it in. Filled it in black. So I just basically did that. Except I did the whole thing. Then on another layer, I did nails. That. And the spikes, I did the same thing. I, I do a point. Then I do this to show that it's connected to the fur. And then I just looked at the show to try to get the color of the actual creature in. So, that's basically how I drew the Ursa. I did the same thing for the other one. See? It was uh, actually probably going to be the easiest part of doing this besides drawing Blake and the Nevermore. So, uh, now I'm going to try to move on to drawing Ruby. So this is how uh, Ruby turned out. I 
I used a reference photo uh, to actually get the colors and the design of the costume down. Um, I'm actually going to show the photo right now. One second. So here's the photo I used, and uh, I used it because I didn't really know all the details on Ruby. I wasn't exactly sure as to how every little thing went, and uh, I wanted to make it more like uh, the face at least more realistic, and I wanted to get the costume at at, at least to be the same that way it's still recognizable by the audience so I use this picture as a reference basically I before doing the insides I just drew the outline of the body and I drew the, put the face on because I knew how the face looked and then I just went in and I used the photo to uh, get all the details of the costume down I want to give credit where credit's due Weiss I drew really small so uh, details once again I wasn't so crazy on but uh, I watched the show to figure out the colors it was basically a gradient across all of her and uh, she's turned so she's kinda got like her back this way and she's like turned to, to kind of finish off the Ursa and uh, the gradient used is just this it's only two colors light color dark color goes across and it just uh, from the bottom up goes dark light top down uh, dark light so it basically meets in the middle and it does its own little thing so uh, now we're almost kinda done we just have to put in Yang who's actually kinda the focal point of the picture and then we're basically done so let's do that right now because Yang is the focal point of the picture uh, she obviously has the most detail on her um, the arm gauntlets were interesting task because uh, watching the show that they're, they're always different they seem especially when she's fighting to when she's standing when she's standing they're quite small and then when she's fighting uh, it looks like they expand I know she has a gun bullet thing in it but uh, this this is basically the best I could do with drawing Yang obviously the characters in the show they don't really have lips they kind of have a line and their eyes are much bigger and uh, the everything else is like less detailed so uh, now we're just going to export this and put this into Photoshop, and then we were uh, we are going to shade it. Here's the finished product. Um, I just went in and sh shaded it and drew the background because uh, it seemed like this episode was running a little bit longer than usual. So uh, what I did was I did a normal background. I looked at the show to uh, basically find this kind of type of background I wanted. Uh, then I put another one over it to blur it because Yang's up there. Why do I say why do I say Yang all the time? Because she's like right in front. Because Blake is back there uh, with the Nevermore, and uh, the trail's in front of her, so she's kind of blurred out in the background. So I, I wanted to make sure the background's equally as blurred. Um, then on top of that, we have the shading, which is just done with the uh, Dodge and Burn tool. It's mainly done on Yang because she's in front. Then Ruby, only the dodge tool was used, and then uh, on Weiss, only the burn tool is used because they're kind of like off. And then uh, for these guys, I did a texture on them, and I did some shading. Uh, same here, I did the same texture. I just basically uh, before I shaded anything, uh, I had I had this. Where is it? This. So what I did was I took this tool, I grabbed the area, areas I wanted. So I, I would do like this, this, that, and everything I wanted. And then I just uh, right clicked via copy, and then I was able to texture it like that. So, let me just put everything back. Huh, yeah. So this is actually the uh, layer that has the texture as well. It's on an overlay, that way uh, you can still see everything. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, this is the finished product. Um, something's I feel like something's missing, but uh, can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe because there's a uh, empty space here that might make me feel like something's missing. But uh, overall, I like it, and hopefully you guys too. Um, anyway, as always, um, comment below if you guys would like to see me draw anything else or anything along those lines.
So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next week.